Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to our Weber County Commission meeting. Today is Tuesday, the 26th of January. It's 10 a.m. present. To my right is uh, Commissioner Scott Jenkins, and to my left is Commissioner Gage Frohr. I'm Commissioner Harvey, and we welcome you. We welcome those of you who've chosen to join us here in the chambers, and also those of you who have joined us via our Zoom link. We appreciate your participation. And we appreciate those who will join us in some time future to come, as this hopefully will be live on forever. Not that this meeting is any more special than the others, but they go and go and go. This morning, our Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Charlie Ewart, our invocation will be given by Commissioner Frohr, and we're really looking forward today to our thought of the day by Commissioner Jenkins. Charlie? Father in heaven, as we come to you this hour asking for your guidance in the matters at hand and ask that you would clearly show us how to conduct our work with a spirit of joy and enthusiasm and caring for all citizens in our community. We give you thanks, Father, for all your blessings and especially those blessings of freedom, the right to choose those that lead and inspire us in all areas of our lives. We give thanks for the right of self-determination and the ability to live their lives in a manner that will benefit all those around us. We give thanks, Father, for this country and for the freedoms and opportunities that we all enjoy as citizens. We ask for your strength to find the way, even through suffering and distress, that those in need receive your strength to lift their spirits in these difficult times. We ask for your blessings to ensure the decisions made today are made with your guidance and inspiration, and that we approach each other with respect and kindness. We ask for a special blessing on all our veterans and medical workers that have served and continue to serve this country. Please look over and protect them in these unknown times. Father, finally, we ask for your guidance so that we as citizens and leaders may all work together for a better future, knowing that we are all friends and neighbors. Help us treat each other in a kind and respectful manner. We say these words in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Well, well. <clears throat> it's good to be here today. So, uh, <clears throat> I know you commissioners have been just like me this last week. You've been getting a few calls and emails, haven't you? Just a few. Boy, I tell you, with this COVID deal and the uh, vaccines available and few pro issues that they've had at the health department and we're just really getting the emails uh, a lot of people frankly uh, think this isn't that big of a deal but I think I mentioned to you guys uh, I had a very good friend that I went all the way through school with from kindergarten to 12th grade Lee Folkman and I looked in the obituaries the other day and there he was in the obituaries and I thought oh my gosh so yesterday when I was at the uh, Weaver Basin meeting, he worked at Weaver Basin for 43 years. And uh, when he was, uh, they were all talking about it and they're a little upset about it and said that his wife got COVID somewhere and brought it home and he got it and uh, in 10 days he was dead, just like that. Well, you know, some people that hits harder than others, but uh, To some, this is a big deal, you know, this uh, pandemic we're under right now. And uh, so I've, I've taken it a little more serious lately. You know, we, uh, my wife's upset at me because uh, I told my kids they couldn't all come over for, su for Sunday dinner. I made it wait a month until, until I get my vaccine. And uh, she's mad at me now. She says, we didn't have to do that. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to practice what a preacher. Uh, it's important that we try to stay healthy as a group. And uh, as, as much as we want to poo-poo this and say it's not too big a deal, to some, it's a big deal. To those over 70, this is a big deal. 
And uh, I tell you, uh, we've just got to keep, you know, uh, I was telling the restaurant owner the other day, without getting into too much detail here, that we can see the light at the end of the tunnel here. So it's like, come on, be patient, stick with this, and let's just ride this out for a few more months, and it's all going to be much better. We've just got to stick with it. You see, the president the other day said that we're putting in, in arms today a million million vaccines a day across the country. Uh, Brian's here. I don't know if you're probably on the agenda coming up. Maybe you can tell us how many we're doing a, a day in the county. But uh, we, are, we are doing vaccines, and we're doing lots of them. And I received my first complaint on the D Event Center the other day. Uh, up till then, I've had nothing but compliments on the way that's been run. But uh, somebody said, well, when you're plus 70, you need a place to sit once in a while when you're standing in line. And I thought, well, we can probably do something about that. But anyway, uh, done a good job, Brian, and uh, just hang in there. We're doing good. We just got to hang in there few more months and then we'll have the bulk of this done and the pressure and stress will start coming down and uh, we know that so mr chair that's my comments for the day thank you commissioner jenkins i appreciate that you know <clears throat> and one of the great things uh, commissioner jenkins i see commissioner jenkins and commissioner Frohr as high quality individuals as well as the rest of our staff that we work with and for those in the audience uh, whether you're a mask guy or a not a mask guy whether you're a vaccine guy or a anti-vax guy no matter what you are or what you agree or don't agree with or you feel like you're being liberated or under duress or whatever that happens to be this really boils down to respect for others because like you said, Commissioner Jenkins, to some it's not too big, but to the Folkman family, oh, it's everything. Everything. And the uh, fact of the matter is, is it is everything to a lot of people, and, uh, yeah. or to some people. And it's just a respect for one another. Will you choose to respect your people you live with on the planet or not? It's, to me, that's that simple. So whether I like this new appendage or not, I choose to wear it because I, I like how it feels to respect people. So I appreciate your thoughts today. <clears throat> All right, public comments for those in the audience that would like to come forward or for those online. We invite you to comment on our agenda today. We'd like you to limit your uh, Comments to three minutes. Are there any in the audience that would like to address the commission? Seeing none, Shelley, are there any on Zoom? Seeing none, we'll then move to item number F, like Foxtrot on our agenda. Our consent items, commissioners, I'll read them. And request for approval of warrants 3462 through and including 3487 and 456173 through and including 456395 in the amount of $2,590,499.79. Number two is a request for approval of purchase orders in the amount of $166,168.55. Number three is a request for approval of the minutes for the meeting held on January 19th, 2021. Fatima, we appreciate every week you get those out to us, and we appreciate that. Number four is a request for the approval of new business licenses. That's in unincorporated Weber County. Number five is a request for the approval of contract by between Weber County and the United States Natural Resource Conservation Services for repairs to the Weber and Ogden Rivers in Ogden City and West Haven City. This is a no cost to the county and is essential pass through reimbursement for costs incurred by Ogden and Weber and West Haven cities. Number six is a request for approval to sell surplus property parcel 23 dash 013 dash 0225 to sourdough wilderness ranch inc number seven is a request for approval of a contract by and between weaver county and d and z unlimited for planning meeting minutes to be taken number eight is a request for approval of change order number 15 on the staker on the staker parson 12th street contract to credit the county 
for items eliminated from the contract and to cover additional work that was done for the project. Commissioners' comments on any one of those eight items. Seeing none, Mr. Hatch, will you comment on some of those eight items? I would love to comment on them. I'll talk specifically about purchase orders and warrants. Uh, we issued 32 purchase orders this week for $166,000. Half of that amount, or $84,000, was for the Golden Spike Event Center. That will go towards shavings, supplies, building maintenance, as well as garbage removal. 33%, or $56,000, is for the Conference Center, and that will go towards uh, performance of building maintenance throughout the year, as well as the purchasing of supplies. And 7%, or $11,000, is for Parks and Recreation, and that will go towards dumpster services. As far as checks, we issued 253 checks this week for $2.6 million, just under a third of that amount, or $812,000, was uh, health insurance for employees and retirees. 12% or $316,000 is for the jail, primarily to pay for nursing services, but also uh, food and counseling services. 9% or $243,000 uh, related to some escrow releases for the Ridge, as well as Halcyon number three. And then we had two um, amounts at 8% of the total. Uh, and they're both the monthly payments to uh, paramedics for our paramedic services, as well as to our contribution to the Weaver Human Services. And then lastly, 5% of the amount, or $135,000, uh, was issued on behalf of Weaver Housing Authority, and those are housing payments. Thank you very much, Mr. Hatch. Appreciate that. Commissioners, if there are no questions again because of what Mr. Hatch presented, I welcome a uh, motion. Mr. Chair, I'd move to approve uh, the consent items F1 through 8. Have a motion? I will second that. And a second. Call for the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. That, that carries. I will now we'll go to our action items on our agenda which is the first one is a request for approval of a resolution. It's resolution number six of the County Commission of Weber County reappointing Jim Harvey as a member of the Weber Mosquito Abatement District. Commissioner Jenkins. <coughs> Mr. Chair, we have the opportunity uh, to serve on different boards. And one that you have been serving on is the Mosquito Abatement whereby you uh, go out there and meet and sometimes there's small stipends of uh, cash that go with that in the form of uh, once in a while payment or a reimbursement or different things and uh, we are all aware of that and so it is my opinion that uh, I, I would make a motion to uh, approve resolution number six that reappoints you to the uh, board of directors for the uh, Weber Mosquito Abatement District. Thank you, we have a motion. Second. And a second. Thank you, fellow commissioners. Commissioner, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> just, just quickly, I, I enjoy serving there and I enjoy those mayors and city council persons also on that board who serve with me. It's a great, it's a great collection and camaraderie of different folks from around the county of Utah, all striving to make sure that we mitigate mosquitoes so it's an honor i'll call for that question replace that motion all in favor excuse me fatima <laughs> commissioner Froer. aye commissioner jenkins aye chair harvey aye thank you commissioners this is resolution seven which is a request for approval of the county commissioners of weber county appointing members to the weber area dispatch 911 and emergency services district administrative control board commissioner Froer. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So just for a little bit of background, in uh, March of 2006, the Board of County Commissioners of Weber County established this Administrative Control Board to govern the day-to-day -day operations affairs of the Weber Area Dispatch 911. Most of us would recognize that as the 911 uh, Authority and Emergency Service District. And Right now, there are four vac vacancies on the board, resulting from the expiration of the terms of Leonard Call, Commissioner Scott Jenkins, Mike Caldwell, and Russell Porter. Ogden City has the authority to appoint one member 
to that board and they have uh, my understanding reappointed Mike Mayor Mike Caldwell to fill one of those vacancies uh, as a result of those vacancies we uh, have a application from Mayor Russell Porter that we would ask to be reappointed and also from Commissioner Scott Jenkins that we would uh, ask in the form of a resolution to reappoint Commissioner Jenkins so the motion would be to appoint Commissioner Scott Jenkins and also Mayor Russ Porter as members of the board. Second. I have a motion and a second. Just for my uh, knowledge, commissioners, I, I heard you say four places. Did I miss a name there? So there's Mike, Leonard so Call. Leonard. Oh, yeah, I got him. Never mind. Got them all. Mm -hmm. So Leonard, uh, com 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 Mayor Call, Commissioner Jenkins, Mayor Caldwell, Mayor Porter. Got it. Correct. Thank you very much. I'll place, I'll thought him off, call for that resolution. Did you have a second on that? Yes. Okay. Commissioner Flora? Aye. Commissioner Jenkins? Aye. Chair Harvey? Aye. That resolution passes. Mr. Ewart, Ewart, this, there we go, Ewart, our, this number, item number three is a request for approval of a contract by between Weber County and Landmark Design, Inc. For the creation of a new Western Weber Planning Area General Plan. Yes. Charlie? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Commission, thanks for uh, Thank hearing this. Had I known that we could put the uh, contract on the consent agenda, I would have done so. But uh, uh, here we are. So the long-awaited time for uh, working on the Western Weber uh, okay. Planning Area General Plan has come. And just to be clear, Western Weber Planning Area includes the Uinta Highlands area, um, including all of the, uh, the unincorporated islands throughout the county. So all of those will be in... Uh, consolidated together into one uh, consolidated Western Weber uh, planning area general plan. Any questions for me about the contract? When's the last time the general plan in the Western Weber area was uh, addressed? West Central Weber County uh, general plan was, uh, well, it was last updated a few years ago, but it was adopted in 2003 and no significant changes since 2003. In the Uinta Highlands, 1970, with no significant changes that I'm aware of. Period. So 18 and 51 years respectively. Respectively. Boy, it's wonderful that we are taking proactive movement to get this done. Thank you, You're Charlie. Welcome. Commissioners, any questions? Can you tell us, Charlie, what the price of this is? It was just under, under 70000 69 something, 69 or something like that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chair, if I might ask a question. Please. So what's the anticipated delivery date of this new product general plan the consultant uh, had pitched uh, february 2021 or excuse me 2022 sorry we're in 21 right now so we're just about a year about a out. year mm -hmm. okay so it's, in a, it's a work in progress obviously it's probably going to take that length of time because of the uh, unability that we have now to meet person to person it's going to take a little longer than we would normally expect that's right. And the uh, the efforts that we did uh, two springs ago with the Western Weber mm -hmm. folks in person, we had four different in-person meetings um, to talk about uh, the future of the Western Weber area. That's been invaluable. It's one of the reasons why this contract can be so little. Um, uh, if you, you can imagine, I mean, the Ogden Valley General Plan, we started with a budget of 150000 and ended with a $200,000 plan. Right. Um, this one, uh, we think we can get done for, for seventy. And, but even with the difficulties we may experience uh, with uh, communication, the citizens of Western Weber County and Uinta Highlands will have a number of opportunities to weigh in, give input to this plan. Is that correct? That's right. All of the information or all of the um, uh, public in involvement and input that they put into it two springs ago um, will be included as well as new updated information, including the integration of any comments from the uh, Uinta Highlands folks. Great. Thank you. No, no other questions, Mr. Chair. Great. Thank you, Commissioner Frohr. I appreciate knowing that the investment that people have put in with their time giving suggestions will be included and that we'll have the opportunity for the public to make future comments regarding this process over the next year. Thank you very much to You're welcome. Charlie Yu and Rick and the rest of your staff for making this happen. Sean, thank you very much. Commissioners, if there's no questions, I'll entertain a motion. I'd make that motion, Mr. Chair, to approve the contract between Weber County and Landmark Design for the Western Weber Planning Area General Plan. Very good. Yes. I have a motion. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. I'll place that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Our uh, 
Next item is commissioner's comments. We have been asked after commissioner comments before we adjourn to go into a uh, closed session. Yes. So let's do the public, the commissioner's comments first. Yep. Commissioners, any comments? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion for closed session. I'd make that motion that we close this, uh, that we close the public meeting and go into a uh, closed meeting. And, uh, Commissioner, just to be specific, under the code, this would be to discuss the character, professional competence, or physical or mental health of an individual. Great. And I'll second that. Roll call. Roll call vote. Commissioner Frohr? Aye. Commissioner Jenkins? Aye. Chair Harvey? Aye. Thank you. We're, uh, going to close session.